Hello, Teen Creeps listeners. Before we start today's episode, I want to tell you about an amazing new comic that just came out today, October 24th, from Vertigo. It's called Books of Magic, and it's written by Cat Howard and illustrated by Tom Fowler. Books of Magic is the latest installment in Neil Gaiman's Sandman universe. The original Sandman series, which ran from 1989 to 1996, is still considered one of the most influential graphic novels of all time. And this year, in honor of Vertigo's 25th anniversary, Neil Gaiman invited a diverse and innovative team of writers to help him reboot Sandman and take it in new directions. One of those directions is Book of Magic, Cat Howard's Sandman spinoff that follows the adventures of Tim Hunter, a London teenager who delves into the ancient worlds of magic and mysticism, only to find himself being hunted by a deadly cult. Luckily for Tim, his new substitute teacher is more than she appears and may be able to help him discover the mystery behind the Books of Magic. Perfect for fans of Teen Creeps, Harry Potter, and the original Sandman series, Books of Magic is available now at your local comic book store, vertigocomics.com and comicsology.com. And for more info about Vertigo Comics' 25th anniversary relaunch, check out our mini-sode from a couple weeks back on Border Town, the new series from Eric Esquivel and Ramon Villalobos. And now, on with the show. Forever! Dog! Trick or treat, trick or treat, candy is dandy, but murder is sweet. This week on the podcast, Richie Tankersley Q6, trick or treat. Hi, welcome to Teen Creeps, the podcast that discusses why I pull fiction. I'm one of your hosts, Lindsay Katai. I'm another one of your hosts, Kelly Nugent. And that was an abysmal tagline. I thought you were going to call it an abomination. Abomination I agree with both. works. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Really lazy work. What a stupid R- fucking tagline. What, what a terrible tra- tagline. Unacceptable. Candy is dandy. Also, why did you say trick or treat twice? twice? I guess because it's a, a four lines in a poem. But like, so this is what? A-A-B-A? Rhyme yeah. scheme? Lazy. Trick or, treat, trick or treat. Yeah, lazy to have the two Candy first A's. Candy dandy, B. but murder is sweet. Ew. Were they afraid that like trick or treat smell my feet? That'd be too. <laughs> it'd be too silly for this book. What? Yeah. Why not just stick with something more like that rhyme? Like trick or treat, trick or treat. Give me something. Murder, murder, murder. Someone. Murder. Wait, trick or treat. Killing you would be so sweet. Trick or treat, trick or treat. Killing you would be so sweet. I don't know that. Like, yeah. I mean, this candy is dandy. dandy. Ugh. No. Ew, if someone says that to you, slap them. Yeah. I hate that. You know that phrase that sometimes people say? The next time they say it, slap them in the face. Do people say candy is dandy? Probably. Ew. Or, I mean, that's probably from something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh. Anyway, candy Trick or Treat dandy. by Richie Tankersley Cusick. Uh, yeah. It okay, so this is a really bad one in my opinion. It is very bad. There are parts that were genuinely scary, yeah. I thought. Yeah. Um but like the twist is very dumb. Well, I, I did see the twist coming. Yes. And I was okay with the twist that it's um when right, it's when she's like jealous cuz she had a crush on Dennis. Dennis. I like that she was keeping Dennis's corpse. That was in the tight. mausoleum. That was creepy as and shit. Visiting it and acting like he's alive. The thing that I liked that was the genuinely scary parts to me kind of remind me of Haunting of Hill House. It's like when she's like sleep. So right, they, they go into this house and it's creepy, right? Yeah. So they move into this new house. It's creepy. This is just like general. What's it called? Like theme of these kind of books where it's like we're moving into, into a new house and it's very scary so many of these books are like we're moving i don't want to i hate this town oh a boy likes me i like the town more bad things are happening yes also like oh um i'm the only one who thinks the house is creepy my parents think it's dope yeah everybody's Which, gaslighting me again haunting of hill house very similar yeah like every time the kids are like this is weird the parents are like but w- it's fine it's, it's probably a dream, a dream. <laughs> I'm sorry, but even if your child is, if all of your children are dreaming Every creepy single fucking one of dreams, them. then that's not a good place. No. Pay attention. Pay attention. Listen to your children. Yeah. Okay. So. But also children should listen. 
children to, should into listen. the woods. <laughs> um, what was I? Oh, the worst part of this book is our heroine Martha, who I think is the drippiest of all drips. She sucks that we have yet read. Yeah, what is her thing with fucking? What's his name? Brother. Oh, the stepbrother. Yeah, this is why my my uh, notes were mostly stepbrother porn question yeah. mark because i thought there was going to be I a thought they were going to get together Me too and i was rooting for that me too what's his face um the hot is guy blake okay so there's like so okay it's greg greg i may be blake okay greg More cousins is the... why did nothing happen with greg whatsoever okay greg is the counselor who's like yeah. the cousin of the hot guy that she has and a he crush on is also hot and he's hot early 20s so hot when she's like getting interviewed by him at first, she's like she couldn't help but notice like that he was had some dick sucking lips. <laughs> like she was like he was so fucking hot. And then I was He's like, like Ew. as hot as his hot teenage yes. cousin. And she's like they it's look hard. so much alike. Did you think when she said they look so much alike? Did you think there was going to be a like one of them like she thinks it's like one of them is the killer but it turns out to be the other one? Yes. Until but also, I did became. not know how Greg was going to be used. And in the end, I was correct in not knowing because it's like the book didn't no. know how to use Greg one little bit. He like he hits was on like her. Nothing. It's weird. He hits on her a couple of times. He doesn't even really get used as a red herring. No, nothing. He's nothing. It is never indicated that he might have been anything. Was he even in the book? Are we just imagining? Are we imagining this? Greg? <laughs> oh, no, we're like just collective dreaming. unconscious. The dream. Yeah. It Greg very Jungian. Greg like keeps. Well, first oh. of all, your Fion. Where's my Fion? Um, Greg. I'm looking up their names. Greg. I don't remember Blake's. Possibly Blake's name. I don't remember. Listen, this is the book I accidentally read two weeks and a half ago. weeks ago. <laughs> so I was like, I hope I remember what happens. Yeah, Greg. First of all, he's a counselor at their school. He's in his 20s. He tells her multiple times that she's beautiful, which is very gross. Why does this happen so much? Capital I, inappropriate. Oh, he her should... stepbrother is named Connor. Connor. And Connor was hot. Connor and she's so like, hot. What is her fucking problem I... with Connor? For, she starts off and she's she thinks he's so cold, but she's like obsessed with him. Yeah. And also she like, I thought for sure she was going to get with him because she was like, He's so cold, but like also I feel like very weird when he's like around me. Yeah. As he always like seems a... to be looking at me with like bemusement. Mm -hmm. And like he knows an, a joke I don't know. Yeah. So I was like, oh, they're going to get together. Yeah. And also this book says over and over again how fucking gorgeous he is. Every mm -hmm. single girl in school is hot for his bod. Mm -hmm. everybody's obsessed with him also it was except classic. for martha and martha is like i don't even see it that was the thing right where i was like, like oh so there's fucking face they're setting it up where she's gonna finally see it and yeah. be like oh duh you're like the hottest thing to come into this town except she just like is really into blake his blake? name is blake okay, yeah. blake's family because they all look alike and they're all hot and they're all nice yeah they're really nice like blake and, and they are genuinely nice they are yeah and Win, mm -hmm. and that's it. Con uh, and Greg and Greg, just the three of them, and, and they're all cousins, not siblings. Not a one of them is a sibling. No, to the yeah, other. they're just cousins, which is weird. It is weird. It's weird that or, there's no, no, no. I think oh, Win is the sister. No, Blake and Greg are are siblings. Win is the cousin. No, no. What? What is their deal? Okay. Wynn is definitely a cousin. Wynn is she a cousin? She is not somebody's sister. It's a fucking book. None of it is memorable. I read it Saturday. Mere days ago. Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. So why can't I remember it? This doesn't make sense. Okay. Looking, 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 looking. Oh, here's a description. Let's find a description of Martha. Is she pretty? I can't She's remember. She's pretty. Okay. So they're talking about how she looks. So Connor is saying she looks about 12. That's right. Connor says she looks really young. And so it says, it was true. She had always looked young for her age. Wholesome. That's what mom had always called her. Wide gray eyes and bouncy blonde hair and a face that couldn't hide her true feelings, no matter how hard she tried. 
And she was trying now, but Connor was watching her and she had that awful exposed feeling that he could see right through her and was enjoying himself. It so seems like he wants to fuck yeah. her. And also like, it's either that he wants to fuck her or he's fucking mad. She's 16 and she's he's 16. 17. He's 17. Uh, her dad is marrying his mom. They've moved into this house together. It's creepy as shit. Um, also like, okay, the part that I thought was legit scary was when she's laying in her bed and she keeps like hearing noises mm -hmm. and then like her closet door, like she'll leave it closed and then it'll be open or she'll leave it open and then it'll be closed. And then one time she left it closed and then it was open when she woke up in the middle of the night. And she can see a figure like staring at her from the closet, which I thought that was scary. Like that there's someone yeah. in her house, in her closet. Except there isn't. Except there is. Is it Wynn yeah, already Wynn. haunting Wynn's her? Like, Wynn has been haunting her from but the she, beginning. I don't think so. It's Wynn. Because really? Wynn, yeah, Wynn knows about the, the what's it called? The I guess hidden it passageways. does happen right away. I guess. And then, okay, so this is why Wynn is obsessed with her. And also, like, everyone's kind of drawn to her. So at first... She's so boring. She's very boring, but she's blonde. And she looks exactly like a girl that used to live in that house who died and was killed by her boyfriend, everyone thinks. Yeah, Dennis. Dennis. Um, Dennis supposedly killed her and then drove his car away and went into the river and killed himself. Like got washed. Like they away never found his body in a big rainstorm or something, a flood or something. And so then they're like, "Uh, so when she first arrives in town, people are kind of like doing double takes with her because she looks similar to the dead girl." And then so she gets it in her head where she's like, everybody only wants to hang out with me because I look like the dead girl. Or everybody's freaked out by me because I look like the dead girl and I live in the dead girl's house. And so I'm being treated like a pariah. But we never see. She just keeps saying it. Fucking anything. Martha is the biggest fucking self, like self-pitying sap. Yeah. That I can remember in one of these books. She is so she's the worst personality. She has a bad personality. Yeah, she has a bad personality. She, she doesn't want like, her dad to be happy. She's like a wet slipper that's like in a puddle, like a bunny slipper that's just been sitting and like is bloated with puddle water. <laughs> and she's just like, like just with hair. Yeah. The, the like um, fluffy kind of slipper. Yeah. Ugh. And no one, you know, and she and all she does is complain. And then um, she hates Connor, even though Connor. The most he does is like, well, he like gently teases her. Yeah. And then when she's being like such a fucking bitch about her dad marrying yeah. Sally and then moving to this house, it, he does call her a spoiled brat trying to ruin their happiness. But she has that coming. Yeah. Well, because she's been kind of like bitchy about everything the whole time. I'm sorry. If a person is gorgeous, you recognize that they're gorgeous. Yeah. You don't just sit there and be like, everyone thinks they're gorgeous. I just don't see it. Stop lying to yourself. Oh, and then there's that weird detail, right? That his mom can't cook. And she yeah. just keeps serving them like different colored liquids. Like Which one time like it's yellow. A nonsense detail. Yeah. It reminds me of like an 80s movie. Like a. Yeah. Like a, a Brat Pack like detail. Yeah. And also it. It. It like ties in with that whole like, well, you're not a good mom unless you can cook. Yeah. You're not a good mom unless you stay home. Yeah. Yeah. And then also like. So they're the all cousins. They're all cousins. They're all cousins. That is so weird. Yeah. Three sets of cousins that live in the same town. But like we never see. And never see their any parents. of their other family. No, it's just them. That's weird. Well, like why cousins? I don't know. Just make them all siblings. Yeah. That actually, I guess be maybe it's just because like, oh, well, siblings wouldn't hang out together this much. Whereas if you're cousins, you might be more friends. But then doesn't that make it more intriguing if they're all siblings that hang out together a ton? Yeah. Also, and you know what? Maybe they're like, because right, neither of them knew that Wynn was the one who killed. Yeah, neither of them knew. So maybe that's like, you and know. It, it is sort of set up that like Greg is jealous of Blake for being such a basketball star. That is 
So maybe Very that weird. was supposed to be how he was a red herring. Like maybe he wanted Elizabeth for himself, but he's in his early 20s. I just couldn't believe that there was no <laughs> Greg romance and there was no Connor romance. Yeah. Just fact- nothing. It was just all Blake. And Blake was the least interesting one to me. Oh, he was like a nothing. Like yeah. Greg was like. He's again like hair. Yeah. Yeah. He- he was just like hair on a stick. Yeah. Yeah. They're both hair on sticks. And then Martha's a slipper with hair. Yes. And in a puddle. Wynn is like a sleeping bag with hair. Yeah. She's like more like a she's little so bit of a question, sleepy. but she's like I imagine her talking like this. Hi, I'm Wynn. Yeah. She's very Oh, wow, your your brother Connor is so dreamy. And then Martha's like, and then Martha's what are you like talking stepbrother? about? He's my stepbrother. Yeah. Uh, He's my stepbrother. And then her. Why is everyone looking at me? Also, her st- being obsessed with saying stepbrother too. I was like, oh, it's because they're gonna fuck later. I thought they're too. Uh, it was not. But no. And then like the payoff, I guess, is supposed to be that by the end she just refers to him as her brother. Great. And they're like pals now. Sure. And I'm like, no. There was get tension. with Connor. There was fucking heat there. There should from be like Connor. There- Martha gives off nothing. No. But Connor was giving off Martha heat. It was. Like, <laughs> I just wish that there's, like, now a second book where, like, it's Trick or Treat 2 incest? Question mark. Because it's, like, <laughs> now they're, like, she keeps calling him brother, but, like, there is a thing. Yeah. It's, like, the second Brady Bunch movie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, like. My I- boyfriend, George Glass. <laughs> <laughs> um, I. Okay. So then. So it turns out when was jealous of she loved dennis so she killed elizabeth Elizabeth, and then did she she accidentally killed dennis because she like pushed him and he like hit his head on the floor and she's like i don't know why he didn't get up oh yeah so then she like (laughs) it was so weird so he dragged him to this mausoleum she drags his fucking corpse to a mausoleum puts like flowers and shit like all around him or i'm sorry let me let me correct that I don't know why he didn't get up, so I dragged him to this mausoleum. That's when. Yes. That is exactly when. The Sorry, I got you off your train. No, of no, no. I have a question. Because uh-huh. now I'm, I'm thinking about it. So the mausoleum. It. It's the about candles. the mausoleum. How did Connor... So you know how Connor was like, I'm drawn to... Well, Was he magic? Everything is implied that there is a genuine supernatural element to it. Yeah. And yet it is... In the end, they're like, no, Win set the fire with the dish rag on the yeah. oven. Win was calling. Win threw a scarecrow with a knife in its head or whatever that was. <laughs> but yeah, that's the only one that doesn't get totally resolved. Yeah, because he's yeah. like wandering back and he's like pulled by something. But he keeps talking about how they're both sensing stuff. Like, um, yeah. Martha walks into her bedroom. And immediately is like, something bad happened here. Yeah. Not just, oh, this feels creepy or, oh, I feel a ghost. But like Mm -hmm. fully something bad happened here because that is where Elizabeth got murdered. Yeah. And so it's like it wants to have its cake and eat it, too. Yeah. I just wish that they had like one line, which is like, I've always been sensitive to stuff or something, you know, or like explain why he's being pulled to the mausoleum or have like Elizabeth in fact, help um, Martha and yeah. Connor figure it out. Yeah. And then like, and oh, and then they go back to the house and the house feels new and not creepy anymore. Yeah. Great. It's like, oh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth's ghost can rest easy now. Mm-hmm. Just something. Mm-hmm. But instead, if you, if you want to make it both, make it both. It literally is. It's so half-assed. Neither. Yeah. So it's like kind it's, of. It's both and not. Yeah. It's both and one. Both in one. It's both. It's like hints of supernatural stuff. And then like, by the way, or it's more, it's like when fully killed both of them. Yes. Nothing supernatural about it. But also you were sort of sensing that that happened. Yeah. Yeah. The biggest one is Connor being led to the mausoleum with no explanation. I would have liked if like she was like a little bit sensitive to supernatural stuff and then so was Connor and like that was like drawing them together because they but are but it doesn't they never, never say anything called about out that. it should have been called out 
because he is sensing stuff he's like yeah. going into the woods and she is too he's also like saying very weird and cryptic things all the time mm-hmm. and she's like uh connor's so weird connor doesn't believe me even though he does he does he has he listens he is so caring mm-hmm. and gorgeous mm-hmm. and i l- love him and i'm gonna kill martha so that i can be with him <laughs> Why is it Martha breathing? I have to get her out of the way. Uh, why is it Martha breathing? Yeah, what? Why did she stop breathing? Also, I, like, okay, so I this mean, is... yes, I tied a rope around her neck, <laughs> but why? And she then, breathing? like, tightened it until death. But, <laughs> but why? But why? Um, the so the narrative that's like being told to Martha first is that there is a big Halloween dance, mm-hmm. and oh, we'll just start at the beginning i guess elizabeth mm-hmm. moved to town yes she started dating dennis yes dennis everybody thought was like kind of an aggressive jerk because he rides a motorcycle and he played dirty at basketball at least according to blake and it's it's made unclear as to whether he was in fact a jerk on the court or blake was just feeling competitive they didn't or get along both. though yeah they didn't get along um elizabeth breaks up with dennis because he's like immature and a little bit of a jerk Dennis, like, makes vague threats to her, like, you're going to regret this. Um, And then at the Halloween dance, she goes with Blake. Oh, yeah. By that time, so Elizabeth gets together with Blake. There's this big Halloween dance. At the dance, Elizabeth agrees to go to her house and talk things out with Dennis. And then Wynn freaks out because she thinks they're going to get back together. So she follows them, kills them goes back to the school and is like, oh, they just, I saw them leave, but I didn't tell anyone. Um, It was about an hour ago. Yeah. And then her, Greg, and Blake all drive to Elizabeth's house, find Elizabeth dead. Or Wynn finds Elizabeth dead. Wait, so she kills, oh. It's like she, I thought she knows she, she did it, but she also doesn't. Yeah, because she has like two personality type things going on. A little or bit. Or like she goes into a fugue state or something. Yeah. But she, it's like in the end, she remembers. But for a long time, she's like, I can't remember. Because of the I long wish dark. I could remember. But then at the same time, she's like, Oh yeah, I was fully making all of those prank calls to you. I definitely started that fire. Yes, I set up the scarecrow. So it's very unclear as to whether she genuinely didn't remember or she was just saying she couldn't remember. Yeah. And then also, okay, so when she kills yeah. Elizabeth, mm-hmm. is it like a long time before? They find her. It's like during it's the like dance. It's like an hour later. I misunderstood that part. Yeah. So what I thought happened uh-huh. was that they get to her house and she's just in her room, mm-hmm. Elizabeth. And remember, like, they were like, oh, sh- uh, Wynn, like, ran up ahead of us and then yeah. was the one who found her alone. Yeah. I thought she ran in, killed her, like, super fast. <laughs> and then was like, oh, I found her. I oh, know. It's like covered in her covered blood. Covered in blood. <laughs> There's like a knife, like, a, like in her hand still. Yeah. Which means she did... Clean herself up and then go back to the dance. Yeah. And tell them that Elizabeth had left. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I saw Elizabeth leave with Dennis. Yeah. And then, I mean, that is a weird thing too, right? Like, let's... But also, so it's like they keep questioning. They're like, Wynn was there. Wynn doesn't remember. We've all tried to get the details from her. But Greg and Blake were there at the same time. So the full story, as far as they know, is we came, she found Elizabeth. Yeah. So like what other details are there to figure out? I think it's because she out? keeps saying the long dark. She's like the long dark and they're like, what is that? And she's like, ah. Uh, <laughs> and they're like, we need to figure this out, but then not really try that hard. And then here's my other question. It is why if you are obsessed with Elizabeth and or I'm sorry, with killing Elizabeth so that you can have Dennis. Yes. Why would you kill Elizabeth? accidentally killed dennis and then like spread the rumor that dennis killed elizabeth and killed himself well that's the thing she keeps saying dennis didn't do it everybody's oh, that's assuming right. so dennis she's saying did it. dennis is a lot she's and like doesn't no she say- she's like we don't know he's dead no one found his body he definitely didn't kill elizabeth okay. he loved her he would never do that he confided in me all the time mm-hmm. okay so she is the and only one sense. um saying that he's alive and okay. that he's not guilty. Okay. Then that makes a little more sense. Yeah. Um, I 
what was another? I, there were a couple parts that I thought were a little scary. Not the scarecrow, no. not the phone calls. I mean, you know what? Maybe no. it was just the stuff in the closet. Yeah. So, so then there's like another the mausoleum dance. at the end. Oh, the mausoleum was scary. Yeah. With Dennis's body all trussed up like he's still alive. Yeah. It's so creepy. And also, actually, when um, Connor and her are like going out to the mausoleum. Yeah. That's I thought a that was a creepy. little scary. Um, but then they don't. They don't go, go in. To it. Go in, and then he like is about solved. to touch it, and then he's like, uh, "I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want it. You got me." And then, okay, so they are in the um. There's another Halloween dance. Yes, because it's a year later. This is just a dance they hold. I feel like. Uh huh. Do you not have the Halloween dance? I mean, I guess she didn't die at the dance, so it's a little yeah. separate. I guess it's fine. Uh, when I was in the fourth grade, um, maybe third grade, uh, there was a some sort of open house fair mm-hmm. type thing um, at my elementary school. And a girl, a little girl my age who was walking home from it got abducted. Oh, my gosh. Um, and then they found her body wrapped in a sheet <gasps> in the canyon down the alley behind my house. Did they find out who did it? A, f- a friend, family friend. <gasps> yeah. Was he, he molesting He her? was like, oh, I'll give you a ride home. I think so. Probably. But I wasn't told these details because I was a child. I feel like it was probably like he was molesting her and then either accidentally killed her or yeah. like was afraid she was going to tell and then killed her. Or just wanted to molest her, did it that one time and then killed her. Yeah. Afterwards. Yeah. And like got rid of the evidence. Yeah. By killing but, her. But, um, you know, they still had the fair next year. <laughs> yeah. So it's like because it didn't happen at the fair, it's a little less grisly. Yeah, I, I guess. guess. So they have this Halloween thing again. That's crazy. That that was right. It might have been house. Halloween. It was the, like my house was on the corner mm-hmm. of two streets, and then there was um, at the edge of it there was an alley, and if you took the alley all the way down a block, there was a canyon mm-hmm. that took up like a quarter of the block. Yeah, and that's where they found her. Yikes. Uh huh, Amanda Gakey, R.I.P. R.I.P. Um, so they have this Halloween dance again, and then uh, when and so it's gonna be when Martha does Connor end up going with them to the dance? No, no. he's sick. Oh right, he's sick at home. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was like fixing the roof in the cold. You know who <laughs> does end up going with them? Greg. Which yeah. is very weird. Well, yeah. He's a chaperone, but he also, doesn't he have like a date? He d- he dresses up in a costume uh-huh. and like is doesn't dancing. Doesn't he dress up as death and he has an axe? Yeah. And he's like, perk of being a chaperone, I'm allowed to bring an actual axe. Maybe they like, were trying to set no. him up as a well, I red think herring. So I think that's why he existed, but she never really followed through. Yeah. It was like. The fact that it was sort of hinted that he was jealous of Blake. Mm-hmm. And then the fact that he had a literal axe, a working axe. Yeah. At the dance. But it was never, he never did anything menacing. It was never like, oh, Greg had a bit of a crush on Elizabeth. Never. Anything. Apart from those two tiny things. Yeah. That were never used in any sort of a menacing way. Nope. Nope. I seriously thought that ma- that ma- that a- axe. I keep saying Max. That axe never, n- never comes into play. Yeah, it does. Not by him. Like he, like as a bad guy. I mean, no. But he but uses yeah, it to like. Bad guy. What does he? He uses it to. He oh, uses to break it to down save. The, yeah, yeah. Because they're save, trapped. Uh, Connor and Martha. And, yeah, it's Connor and yeah. Martha. Oh yeah. So Blake and Greg show up at the mausoleum to save the day. Because yeah. Wynn is going to kill them. So basically, like, they... Oh, yeah, she almost kills Connor. Yeah. He's, like, losing blood. Yeah. And this is a Richard yeah. Taker's, like, Q-Sick book. I'm surprised she didn't, like, make out with Connor while he was losing blood. Oh, true. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, they... Why did... Why are they back at the house, all of them together? Oh, because she's like, oh, shit, the killer is going to hurt Connor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's like, we got to go back to the house right now. Yeah. So they race back to the house. Connor's fine. I forget what makes her think Connor isn't okay. Because she gets something. the trick-or-treat call. 
at the school because remember at the school yeah, greg is like there's a call for you it's in the oh. library and so i was like oh shit she's gonna get attacked in the library she doesn't it's just it's a call win. it's when being like I'm trying to get country. her to the house come to the house <laughs> so that she can kill quote unquote elizabeth again because yeah. then she's like no 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 i do believe you're elizabeth but then she's yeah. like no it's just you reminded me so much of her and i got upset it was it's all over the yeah, place it's not one or the other and i hate martha i hate she martha. was so boring she is not even she's boring in her personality but she is also so grating yeah and mean to connor she's really like, mean to connor. i don't truck with this meanness and i refuse that was the other thing. Up until the very end of the book, I thought she was going to hung up with Connor. Me too. Because she right and Connor get trapped. till the end. Right up until the end when she hooks up with When she stays Blake. with Blake. I was like, what? Like, I'm going to open the last page of the book. Because I, yeah, right up until the very last page, I was like, well, surely now. Yeah, I was like, okay, just waiting for it, waiting for mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm. He's going to be okay, he said. They told me so. I promise. Oh, Blake. As the horrors crumbled around her, she sagged against his chest, felt his kiss on her forehead. Tears rolled down her face and she shook her head. Connor knew. Knew what? The first time he and I found the cemetery, he had a bad feeling about the mausoleum, Martha remembered. He felt some kind of danger. She squeezed her eyes shut, held back a sob. Can we go to the hospital now? Sure we can. His arms tightened around her. She felt his heart beating against her chest. I almost lost you tonight, he said hoarsely. And he kissed her again, long and sweet. And when she finally opened her eyes, he was smiling. Does Connor know how lucky he is? And Martha thought of Connor, so still and pale as he was taken away. How annoyed he'd be when he woke up to find himself in the hospital, which, what? Why would he? What do you mean, annoyed? (laughs) And she saw herself beside his bed and Blake there with her, and how that look would creep across Connor's face, and how she wouldn't even mind. She looked into Blake's warm brown eyes and kissed him tenderly, right on his smile, which... What? Wait, so he's just smiling <laughs> so and she like, kisses it and he doesn't every, stop smiling? His teeth out? His teeth! <laughs> She's kissing his teeth. He's kissing his teeth. <laughs> I'm the lucky one, Martha said, and she meant it. So she's the lucky one for having Connor. But like, right up until the end, I was like, well, yeah, no, Blake. Connor. Yeah. Also, like, now I realize how much he means to me because I almost lost him I'm sorry, Blake, you're like very nice and attractive, but Connor is gorgeous and perfect. I also, how weird is it to like be reminiscing about how lucky you are to have your brother while kissing another guy? (laughs) On his smile. On his smile. (laughs) Like she's like got her lips on his teeth and is like, I love my stepbrother inside. I love my stepbrother. My brother. I'm just picturing mm. his small, pale body in the <laughs> hospital bed his while small, I, bloodless like, body. Mac mm. on my, bo- my new boyfriend's teeth. Hey guys, Kelly here. Wanted to take a quick break from the show because I'm so excited to tell you about a lovely meal kit delivery service that I'm obsessed with called HelloFresh. HelloFresh shops, plans, and delivers step-by-step recipes and pre-measured ingredients so you can cook, eat, and enjoy. What are my favorite HelloFresh meals? Well, I personally love the pork carnitas tacos with pickled onion and Monterey Jack cheese. Feeling a little veggie? Well, then say hello to heirloom tomato flatbreads with pesto, fresh mozzarella, and balsamic greens. Guys, I am big into food, big into cooking, and they were so delicious. But at the same time, these recipes are step-by-step and easy enough that anyone can grab these recipes and start cooking. From someone who's like, cooking, what's that? To people who enjoy cooking like me. Here's how it works. There are three plans to choose from. Classic, veggie, family. Forget about planning dinner, spending money on takeout at 10 p.m., or worrying about gathering ingredients week after week. All the ingredients come pre-measured in handy labeled meal kits. So you know which ingredients go with which recipe. The recipes are simple. The instructions are outlined on pictured step-by-step cards. So it's really hard to screw it up. Spend less time meal planning and grocery shopping each week. Get that time back to do more of what you love. Like, do you like table tennis? Do that! Do you like making chalk drawings on the asphalt do that do you like making clothes out of burlap do that most recipes take only 30 minutes so you can listen to teen creeps while you prepare your meal and hellofresh is a subscription service so your meals come to you week after week just when you need them okay let's get you guys on that offer we have a very special offer for all of you teen creeps listeners out there for a total of 60 dollars off that comes to 20 dollars off your first three boxes Visit HelloFresh.com slash TeenCreep60 and enter promo code TeenCreep60 
That's HelloFresh.com slash TeenCreep60 and enter promo code TeenCreep60 for $60 off HelloFresh. And now back to the show. The, okay, here's another weird thing that happens. So like there's supposed to be this romantic moment where they're like, we have to prepare for the Halloween party. Halloween party. The hay. The hay. The hay. <laughs> and they make out in some hay. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it's like on top of her. In some and hay. I felt a little nervous. Yeah, I was like, oh no. Because there's a part where I think she's like, I couldn't move. Yeah. Because he was on top of me. I, I was, like, was very worried. Very concerned. It was very concerning too because like at that point too, maybe she's... that was Connor in the bed when he's trying to like get her to shut the fuck up and listen to him. Oh yeah. He's so holding he he hold her like, down. No, I believe you. And she, he like pins her on the bed and she says she can't move. Yeah. That was scary. So maybe it happens twice with Connor and Blake. Also like for some reason I was worried <laughs> that Blake was actually Greg. <laughs> when, <laughs> when they're at the farm <laughs> i was like oh no the 20 year old he's he's tricking her he's holding her down because like okay so she also like kind of hints that like at this point like things are a little weird with blake because remember she's like uh he only likes me because like i look like his dead girlfriend yeah and also there's like questions about like who really killed her mm-hmm. so he's a he's a contender for killer yes He's like, let's go for a drive. Let's ditch school and go for a drive. And she's like, I don't ditch school. And he's like, let's just do it. I have a cool truck. And she's like, okay. They start driving. It's like far. Like it's in the next town. And he's like, isn't this a lovely small town? Like a small town (laughs) where they can't hear you scream. Don't you like being in a place where no one knows where we are? (laughs) Seriously. He's like, no one knows where we are. And then she's like, wow. And then it starts raining. And he's like, let's go to the barn. And she's like okay you could be a killer but okay so then he's like come with me uh and you'll see in a world, <laughs> world of, of pure, pure imagination. imagination i will squish your little body dish <laughs> into body. a pile of hay yeah into... yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure yeah <laughs> so great lyrics thank you he takes her into the barn and sh- he's like whoa and like falls into the <laughs> hay <I'm> tripped <laughs> <laughs> and she's like oh i can't believe you found some hay it's like that part of groundhog day where phil is getting like like he's had his one perfect night with um i forget andy mcdowell's yeah, character's andy McDowell. name um and then everything after and then she she won't sleep with him mm-hmm. and then he keeps trying the other nights but gets increasingly desperate and terrible at it and there's that scene where he like forces a snowball fight with those kids <laughs> and they fall in the snow and then he keeps inching towards her and oh. she's like, <laughs> it's that in the head. It's that. He's like, oh, but, hey. and instead of, <laughs> she's like, <laughs> she's like I, I, can't can't move. That. <laughs> I love not being able to move. And then they make out in some hay. And at that point, I was like, the Connor thing's still going to happen. I was like, it's still going to happen. Oh, I, again, right up to the end of the book. Literally. I thought that she was going to fully kiss Connor Me in too. that mausoleum. Me too. It doesn't happen. I'm upset. I'm actually pretty mad because it's I'm a real upset. missed opportunity. Also, I thought um, a similar thing with Teacher's Pet. I thought that she was going to end up with um, Pierce. Pierce, yes. I thought she was going to end up with Pierce, the moody caretaker and not... <laughs> The teacher? The she teacher. ends up with the teacher? She ends up with the teacher. Ew, really? <laughs> yeah. I forgot that. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. Ew, ew, ew. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. They're both the same age. <laughs> but he's a teacher. And he's a teacher. So it's a little more inappropriate. <sighs> yep. In this, I think she totally should have ended up with Connor. She doesn't. So wait, so how do they? Okay. So when she, later when they're at the dance and she's like, uh, oh yeah, because Wins like, I'm going to kill Elizabeth. And she's like, Connor! <laughs> Connor's she, at the house. She runs to the house with Wynn and the other two cousins. Then they... Connor's fine. Mm-hmm. And then how do they end up where they end up? This is like where things get fuzzy They for me. run in the house. They're running all around. And is there smoke again? I think there There's is like gasoline. Smoke. Like, when is fully going to burn the house down, I think. And then they accidentally they go to the 
basement for some reason. Oh, I know why. They fall, like, Wynn's, like, looking for them, and they don't realize it's Wynn at the time. The mm-hmm. being is looking for them. And they, like, back up into one of those secret passageways. Yeah. And then close the door, and then... Or they escape through a secret passageway. It ends up in the basement? Yeah, they're, like, in a cellar. Yeah. And then the fire's happening there in the cellar. And... How do they get out? Oh, they find another passageway and they go to the mausoleum. Yeah. At that point, he's yeah, hurt. Yeah, it's like a super small, it's like basically a tunnel. Yeah. And again, we're using the excuse of Underground Railroad. Again, it's happening again. Like um, time windows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where it's Underground Railroad passages. Mm-hmm. Um, And so that's how they end up there? They like... Yeah, they go from the cellar through a super small tunnel uh-huh. and end up in the mausoleum and they see Dennis. Yeah. And then they, oh, right. And then the door gets kicked down, right? Axed down. Axed down by Blake and Blake. Greg. And then Wynn comes in and she's like, Twas I! Yeah. <laughs> and she, she like tries to kill She's like, you everyone. came back. You came back. But at the same time, knows it's not because she's like, you came back. Oh, they get her when they like get like subdue her. Mm -hmm. Then she switches to knowing what's what. Yeah. And he's like, well, you just reminded me (laughs) of Elizabeth. And I was like, fuck, you came back. You're going to get on Dennis again. Mm -hmm. And she at that point still doesn't realize that Dennis is dead. But then she talks about how he fell and he didn't get up. Yeah. So maybe I, just she thinks he's still not getting up. She thinks he's still alive and he doesn't ever move from that mausoleum. I guess. Psh, fucking win. What an idiot. Classic win. So I guess they also had to be cousins, right? So that they don't live in the same house. So that when Wynn is like going out Off on the doing town. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, she's very busy. She's yeah, pretty maybe. busy. She's like a oh, classic Richie Tankersley yes. Cusick busy body murderer yeah like rtc villains are so busy their she, schedule is jam-packed so she has to okay she has to go to school during the she has day to go to school she has to make some calls at night she has to be around the house at night so she yeah. can like make noises and shit yeah she has to be crawling around in these secret passages yeah she has to stand ominously at the foot of uh of beds of beds of various beds she has to like wear costumes to make her look like a boy she has to set up a scarecrow oh yeah she has to like she has to start a fire she has to like rig the scarecrow to like be hanging from outside of the house and she has to have that set up day of Mm -hmm. which means she hasn't met martha yet Mm -mm. so what she's like oh a blonde girl moved into that house she's like oh people are moving into that house i'm gonna go check it out oh she looks like elizabeth Oh, remember? She hasn't met no, her she yet. sees her but doesn't meet her. She sees her and barely meets her at the hardware store the first day. No, but the scarecrow thing happens the first night, doesn't it? You know what? You might be right. So then she's just like, I see that there's a blonde girl that moved in there. <laughs> I'm going to do the scarecrow thing. And she calls. Does she just like hang out at the house every night? Oh my God. Is she just at she's, the mausoleum every night? Yeah, I night? think she goes to that mausoleum all the time. Where are her parents? She needs to sleep. She, she needs parental supervision. So I yeah, think she is, does need to sleep. That's she, probably contributing. Oh, so what is it? 72 hours brings you to like legit insanity? Probably. Yeah. That sounds horrible. Ugh. So I think that's why they have to be cousins. Because otherwise, I feel like if they were siblings, they'd be like, what is Wynn doing? Yeah. She's out all the time. They'd know she's gone. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm like I trying, guess, trying yeah. to like put it all together. Yeah. I truly, I don't know why they're Does she, cousins oh no. and not siblings. I was going to ask if she got together with Connor. She tries to set them up, remember? Martha. Yeah, Martha's all about, like, getting her together with Connor. And Wynn is like, no. He's too handsome. No, he's too handsome. I'm so shy. And Connor's like, like, who? <laughs> Maybe the whole time it was like, he's so handsome, but my heart belongs to Dennis, who's definitely alive. <laughs> <laughs> my heart belongs to Dennis. Who won't move? Why won't he? Move? Why won't he move? He stopped moving. Um. Okay, I'm trying to come up with a hypothetical here. If you, oh yeah, I did highlight something. Oh, just another classic example of something isn't funny, but the characters like 
burst into giggles. Please tell me. Uh, so this is Wynn and Martha talking about how cute each of them thinks Blake and Connor is. Mm-hmm. So Martha's talking about Blake. Mm-hmm. And Wynn is talking about Connor. Okay. And oh, I think I um, vaguely remember this. So Martha says, I'll bet Blake is stronger. I'll bet he's not. All the girls say how sexy Connor is. How would they know? Well, look at Blake. He's too, well, friendly to be sexy. Oh, yeah. No mystery there. Connor's the strong, silent type. He's not always silent. Actually, sometimes he's pretty funny in a sarcastic kind of way. Do you think Blake's sexy? I'll bet he kisses better than Connor. I'll bet he doesn't. They collapsed into helpless giggles, and for a while, neither of them could speak. <laughs> Finally, Wynn <laughs> caught her breath and sagged against Martha's locker. Oh, I hurt. I feel like some hot chocolate. You don't have to go home right now, do you? Okay, so <laughs> if if we were having a conversation <laughs> and you were like, I bet he, if, and I was like, I bet okay, he kisses let's, better. Yeah. Okay, um, okay, I'm going to talk about, oh. M- my and my oh, I was going to talk about my celebrity crush, which oh, okay. is Tom Hardy, but only when he's crazy and wearing a mask. Okay, cool. So, like Tom Hardy, I bet you Tom Hardy is a better kisser than who's who's your celebrity crush right now? Um, the first thing that popped into my head was David Tennant. He probably kisses better than David Tennant. I'll bet he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. We're so crazy. We are so crazy. Look at us. We're talking about kissing. I can't believe it. <laughs> that that's insane. Is insane. They're both insane. Because if I saw that happening, real, I would like like speed up my walk. Okay, this is how this is how you actually make it. Okay, let's talk about it like we would really talk about it. Okay. 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 Tom Hardy. Um, I like when. Okay, I bet you he's like a better kisser than David Tennant because he has like um like nice juicy lips that he like keeps caged behind a scary mask. And so like when that mask comes off, those lips go wild. I'll bet David Tennant is a better kisser because um he has like a lot of wiry smart oh. energy and I feel like Tom Hardy might be too aggressive. Like no. so aggressive. Whereas David Tennant I feel like also would like care about how I'm enjoying it. No, what I want is like I don't want like a little spider crawling around on my body. Uh, I want, excuse me, fuck you. I, what I want is a big sack <laughs> of flour <laughs> crushing me. I want, I want like a like a sack of flour that is like gotten wet and then dried up oh, into so like just a chunks. chunk. It's just like <laughs> chunks of flour, and it, and the the big bag of chunky flour is like it's wearing a mask, and then mm-hmm. it takes the mask off, and then it's just like pressing its chunk against your face <laughs> that's what you're saying you're into that's what i want whereas like david tennant is like like he has long limbs right he's like so he could like he's like six snakes like tied together circle me okay so imagine <laughs> six snakes tied together by their tail wouldn't you feel fully enveloped mm-hmm. and like just like uh sprinkled with like tongue and <laughs> and and kisses and attention what i want is like a a chunky sack of flour, uh-huh. but you put like two Vienna sausages just on top of each other on the top, and they're like just eyebrows. <laughs> no, <laughs> they're on top of each other. Oh, okay, they're those like are lips. the lips, and they're just okay. like, just like, okay, this is what I this is what I say. Uh huh. Okay, you get two little sausages, little uh-huh. Smokies, Hillshire, uh-huh. Hill, Hill, Hillshire, Hillshire Farms. Farms. Hillshire Farms, Little Smokies. Uh huh. Little Smokies. Little Smokies. Okay. You you put those together on the end of a a sock that's like filled with sand. Okay. Okay. You you attach uh-huh. them. You glue gun those. Right. You grab the end I'm of the sock. You. Sure. You whip yourself in the face. <laughs> with the, with the sock. So you're just like you're getting like um just like a general like slime. Yeah. Just like whap just like, into your cheek. Whoop whap whoop just. Just over, like, and over, over and over <laughs> and it, like somebody's like taking the like top of the yeah. bag of flour and yeah. they're just like spinning it yeah. in the air like a little helicopter yeah. propeller and it's actually but like every time every spin yeah when it gets to your face it's smacking you with like some slime yeah and just like some some pork smell yeah yeah exactly okay and it's like attached to like um 
You know, it's like automatic uh, bats, like a, yeah. like a batting oh, yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so or it's like just attached tennis there. ball yeah. thing. So it's just spinning. Okay, and then you have to walk into oh, it. Okay, so it's like yeah, you're like continually stuck. Because <laughs> it's about consent. At, you can just you keep like going at it. it. Yeah. So that that's how you can aim your lips at the sausage lips. Yeah. And then what's great is you can keep trying. Oh, okay. So you can so like all right. So but but for David Tennant, uh-huh. like what you can do is all right. So imagine there are like those six snakes. Yes, they've yes. got their tails tied yeah. together. Um, it's so like you could be using those like um like squid like squid tentacles. Oh, okay. And just like wrap yourself oh, in yeah, it. Oh yeah, yeah. So you're like you're there. You're suctioned. Yeah, yeah. You're just like there are um. They're just these like thick, ropey snakes all around you in a big like embrace. Yeah, and like let's say so the snakes don't have teeth; they oh. have no fangs. Are they're, they like worms? No, no, no. I they've been removed. Oh, so they're still snakes. Okay, but the teeth, the been fangs abused. have been yeah. Okay, yeah. so abused snakes. So like uh, imagine like six <laughs> abused snakes with no fangs. Okay, um, but tongues. Yes. So oh. like so it's like instead of chomping down with fangs mm-hmm. they're just like ch- like just like a soft like oh gummy yeah chomp with a tongue with like slithering in and out <laughs> <laughs> at your face like really fast and like and like there's somebody it's not fast like with you oh um it's like somebody is like slowly rotating the snakes on oh. like let's say like how you roast a pig oh or, like yeah, on, a, a spit. on a spit so like somebody is just like t- cranking that handle but like slowly it's like the snakes are also like like um oh like like caressing me yeah the snakes are just like like pushing Uh down on like my skin and caressing me with just like tongues as they go are you moving or are you standing no you're just standing (laughs) okay great like he's he's doing all the work he's yeah yeah yeah. and if you want if you want it on your mouth then you turn towards one of the mouths Uh uh-huh um, but if you like want it on your cheek, or, oh. like, and and so you're getting it like on your shoulders yeah. and on your back, and like you can like slither through too. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's like it's there... pretty, but like also like gravity still applies. Oh, so like you're also having to like kind of hold up the snakes so they that they are reaching you. They're tired and they're abused. tired. They're like so tired. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, and so, then there's um uh-huh. in the middle of both of ours right there's like a little tape yeah. recorder oh, okay and it says like one phrase or like one thing what does yours say um um i'm the doctor nice <laughs> mine says i am max my life is fire and blood oh and then okay um, it, oh by the way the um the sausages mm-hmm. are like covered in a little cage that like you take it off before oh right and that's the that's okay, like the undressing so part. Are you going the for Bane then? No. So you know how he you're has going to wear for that Bane Hardy. I'm going for. Listen, I like when he's Bane. Oh, I like oh, when he's Max. Okay. Oh, I know. All the fangs from the snakes. Yeah, they were taken <laughs> and made made into oh. a giant mouth. Oh, and put on Tom Hardy like Venom. Yes. Yeah. So I haven't. So seen we're Venom like working yet. together. We're helping to have other. the makeout experience that we desire. <laughs> Which both of us are not doing anything with our arms or our faces. It's no. just you're just walking in and walking out. So like I hurt. Do you want to get hot chocolate? <laughs> yeah. That's how <laughs> See, that's how you that's fucking talk how you about be that. funny about kissing. You don't just say like he's a better kisser. No, he is yeah. and then laugh. And then laugh. And like I get it. Like not everybody can be that funny. Like we we do have we're like classically trained in comedy. Classically trained yeah. comedians. Classically trained comedians. The we went to conservatory for that. Yes. Yeah. Comedy conservatory. Specialized schools. Yes, yeah, specialty yeah. schools. You have yeah, to yeah, yeah. I mean honestly to audition when you're a child. Accredited at UCB. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's like in Russia. It's like in Russia or China. If you want to be a ballet. You, they find you as a child. Yeah. And then they train you always. 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 And you pretty much know like from the beginning um, they also put like three objects in front of you and then like you pick an object and if you pick like um like there's like uh there's like a rock, there's mm-hmm. like um a cup, and then mm-hmm. there's like a banana. And if you pick the banana when you're a baby, you're like they know you're gonna be funny. So then like But also like if you want one over another, you have to keep your eye on the pretty lady because it's three card Monty as well. It is. Yeah. It is. So if uh, you want that banana, <laughs> it's a you got a cup. 
you got to you have to watch closely. You have to watch closely. And yeah, honestly, very it's good. very hard to get it. It's very hard. So we're but like, that's what makes it genuine for us. It's like a combination of like innate talent and then intense training. Yes. So keep that in mind, you yeah. know, but here's the thing in yeah. a book, your characters don't have to be funny. If they you can't write to funny break into laughter. Yeah. They can just kind of they like, can, like smile chuckle, like or or, oh, you know, what would have made a lot of sense mm. is for like one of them, either Wynn or Martha, mm. like say it was Martha yes. choosing to say this, like kind of laughing and being like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm making you think about your cousin kissing me. Yeah. Yeah. Then that or would be like going, a little chuckle when going. This is pretty funny because what you're doing is you're making me think about if my cousin is a good kisser or not. And they yeah. could go. <laughs> yeah, that's stupid. Yeah. Hey, do you want to grab a hot chocolate? I'd love to. Yeah. Or we oh, are friends. I'm, I'm making you think about how my cousin and then the other girl is like, oh, yeah. And I'm making you think about your stepbrother. And then, oh, yeah, totally. And then they could be like, and oh, they we're could, being so inappropriate to each other. <laughs> like, oh, this is kind of gross. I feel weird now. <laughs> yeah. Let's stop talking about let's it. Let's never speak of it again. And let's just yeah. have some hot chocolate in silence. Yeah. Let's just like, so now we know we're attracted to our family members on some level. Mm-hmm. Um, Let's get some cocoa. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Because we've earned it. So that's the book. That's the book. Um, I'd say it, go ahead and read it if you want to. This is not a necessary I'm going to say skip this one because martha is so obnoxious she's pretty obnoxious and there's enough like Ugh. there's enough books and the, there are enough books in the world that you yeah, can read this is a skippable one for sure yeah but if you if you want to tweet at us um your celebrity crush kiss fantasy oh please, please let us do know so. in detail yeah um do we know what book we're reading next week um is it <gasps> we're doing the movie Helper? oh right, right we're doing halloween the first original halloween with our good friend Oscar Oz, Montoya. Oz. Oz. Uh, Montoya. This, that is what we're doing next week, right? Yeah. Great. Yay. Yay. So we got, we did two weeks of Halloween stuff. Yeah. This will be great. Yeah. Um, so thank you guys so much for, um, listening. Um, and thank you to our Patreon subscribers. Uh, you guys help produce the show. So mm-hmm. that's really awesome. If you guys want to get you. on board with the Patreon stuff. Uh, you get some cool mini-sodes and outside genre episodes and stuff. Uh, check out all the fun stuff we have to offer at patreon.com slash teen creeps uh you can follow our social media it's at teen creeps pod on everything Mm -hmm. Um, like if you were listening to deep trouble last week uh i went uh to the i went through the effort to find the esmeralda boots that kelly was talking about wearing uh so you can find those on our twitter account yes yeah that is amazing and Mm -hmm. i might actually take that for the instagram too oh do it i can't believe you found those boots you're welcome Thank you. It took some light Googling. I did have to go through a few pages and uh, different variations in phrasing. Oh, Mm -hmm. Esmeralda Boots didn't cut it. Yeah. Well, then I had to like kind of search like I tried shoes and then I tried boots Mm. and then I um, because mostly it was giving me gypsy costumes. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Speaking of Martha. Yeah. Yeah. Not great. Yeah. So follow us on social media. Yay. Yay. Um, thank you so much for listening. We'll see you next week. Keep it creepy. Forever. <coughs> dog. This has been a Forever Dog production. Executive produced by dog. Kelly Nugent, Lindsay Katai, Brett Boehm, Joe Cilio, dog. and Alex Ramsey. For more original podcasts, please visit dog. foreverdogpodcasts.com. And subscribe to our shows on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Keep up with the latest Forever Dog news by following us on Twitter and Instagram.